Okay, so we've got our email leads list and we're going to build a workflow for that list. So with that being said, we have an opt out field that I've added, which is a yes or no field. And what we want to do is create a workflow that if they opt out of the email, then it changes their email to opt at out.com so that it doesn't send them an email. So we'll go to create a workflow in SharePoint designer in our list context menu. We'll call this email blaster. I have SharePoint designer open, which is why it popped up so quickly, by the way, and we'll click OK and SharePoint designer should come up. Here's our email blaster window. So we're going to do an if statement on if current item field equals value. And we'll say if field opt out equals value yes, then we will set, we'll set field and current item to the value, oh, the field will be email address to value opt at out dot com and that's all we're going to do there pretty simple now we're going to go to the email blaster main page and we're going to set start workflow when items created and when it's changed so if they ever call in and they say stop sending me emails or they send a, a response to our website that says do not uh, reply or, or you know so unsubscribe then we will take them out of there That'll update the list and then we will change our email address. So we'll publish this. We'll go back to the site and we should see some email addresses change. So we'll edit this list and we'll change everybody to no for now. And if I add and modify the view, and I'll add our email blaster column you can see it's in progress on three of four we didn't change Jill because she was already a no so they everybody's completed because they they did not opt out so let's say that two people do opt out Jill Jillian and Leslie opt out so we'll hit stop editing the list and we should see that these directly go into in progress and we'll hit F5 we'll hit F5 again <laughs> and now we see they changed their email address to opt at optout.com now let me show you if you create a new item we'll just make this um, Matt St. Lawrence oops let me do this right Matt uh, St. Lawrence Matt Email address, Matt, at simplifiedsharepoint.com. And here's my home number. And do I want to opt out? Yeah, I do. So we see that I've got my simplified SharePoint email address there. I opt out, I click save. And we should see the email blaster field populate it's in progress but since I opted out we should see it should change any second <laughs> and there we go so then we can quickly sort by this and then we can say create view we'll make it a standard view we'll leave all the columns that are there currently actually we'll take opt out off and then we're going to filter, show items only when the following is true. We'll say when email address oops, is not equal to opt at out.com. So then we got to give it a name, I think. Um, valid leads. So now we can see that only Ryan Williams and Ray Kenneth are the ones that we can send email to. If we go back to all contacts, then we have all this other information. So I hope that was pretty informative. Um, that's going to conclude our marketing department real world scenario. 
we've gone through, we've created the subsite for the marketing department 2014 campaign. We have created an advertisers list. We have created an email contact list. We've added an ad content library. And we've created a workflow that runs um, on our email leads page and created some views to see how we can organize things in SharePoint. So that's going to conclude this. Be sure to check out our real world scenario for the IT department. And that's going to go through creating an asset tracking list, creating a help desk ticket system, creating an on-call schedule, and building some workflows off of that. So be sure to check that out. And if you have any questions, email us at the site and have a good one.